We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. I started Facebook, I run it, and I'm responsible for what happens here. This should be a wake-up call for the tech community. We want to hear more, without delay, about what Facebook and other companies plan to do to take greater responsibility for what happens on their platforms. You have an obligation, and it's up to you, to ensure that that dream doesn't become a privacy nightmare for the scores of people who use Facebook. I'm concerned that press reports indicate Facebook learned about this breach in 2015, but appears not to have taken significant steps to address it until this year. While the condors of the Cambridge analytic uh, situation are still coming to light, there was clearly a breach of consumer trust and a likely improper transfer of data. If Facebook and other online companies will not or cannot fix the privacy invasions, then we are going to have to, we, the Congress. Facebook is an idealistic and optimistic company. For most of our existence, we focused on all of the good that connecting people can do. And as Facebook has grown, people everywhere have gotten a powerful new tool for staying connected to the people they love, for making their voices heard, and for building communities and businesses. But it's clear now that we didn't do enough to prevent these tools from being used for harm as well. And that goes for fake news, for foreign interference in elections and hate speech, as well as developers and data privacy. I believe deeply in what we're doing. And I know that when we address these challenges, we'll look back and view helping people connect and giving more people a voice as a positive force in the world.